Hey groomers, Tyler here out of Colorado. Wanted to explain a little something to you about scissors. Someone asked me if I have an ambidextrous scissor because they use both hands. And as far as I know, I might be wrong. I don't know everything. There's no such thing. And I'll show you why. They like these kind of handle style because they thought it, it could go on either hand. But the point of this is just so, see like, my thumb, the thumb blade, is the teeth. I can flip the scissor upside down, and now my thumb blade is the blade. So it'll give you a little different texture. And it makes more sense with a curve. So here's that curve, curves off to the left right now, my left. And I can flip it, and it's, it will still work, but now it curves off to the right. See how when I open this up, I'm right-handed. This is my right hand, right thumb, and the blade, thumb blade is on the inside. Now here's a left-handed scissor, thumb blade on the inside. So if I take this thinner, left-handed thinner, and put it in my right hand, one thing, it's not comfortable because the grip is only for lefties. And the other thing is, if I'm putting any pressure either way, which most of us tend to do, it's not gonna cut, it's gonna spread the blades apart. So if you like to use both hands when you're grooming, be very conscious of the pressure. Make sure you're just kind of going up and down with no side pressure either way. Or get some left-handed or right-handed scissors in your toolkit. That way it'll help you out a little bit, so. I hope this helps some of you. Hope it made sense. If you have any questions, let me know. If you find an ambidextrous scissor, let me know. That'd be cool. Um, but as of right now, I don't. I've never seen one for dog grooming. So, or I've never seen one. But all right. Hope this helps someone. And have a good one. Bye.